In this module, we will talk about the filter sterilization. But before this module, as you know that we discussed about the sterilization process by heat, either by the direct heat or by the wet heat using the steam. But in this module, we will talk about uh, the filter sterilization. Before talking the filter sterilization, we will just try to know that what are the basic principles and the technique used for the filtration. So as concerned the filtration, the suspended solids may be separated from a liquid during the filtration by following mechanism. The first mechanism can be inertial impactions and the second one is diffusion. And the third is electrostatic attractions. And the fourth is interception. So these four different uh, mechanisms can be involved in the filtration process. Either that will be a simple filtration, either that will be involved the filtration for the sterilization. The mostly when we say the filtration, then the actual method is then something has to pass through a membrane. We will talk about step by step about all these mechanisms involved in the filtration. First one is the inertial impaction. So what is iner inertial impaction? In this, the suspended particles in the fluid stream have the momentum. So the fluid in which the particles are suspended will flow through a filter by the route of least resistance. So, somewhere is a high resistance and somewhere is least resistance. However, the particles, because of their momentum, tend to travel in a straight lines and may therefore become impacted upon the fibers where they may be then remain. So, inertial impaction is more significant in the filtration of the gas than in the filtration of the liquids. So inertial impaction is basically depend upon the resistance. So as concerned the diffusion mechanism, so when the diffusion is when extremely small particles which we called as the suspended particles in a fluid are subjected to the Brownian motions which is random and we know that the Brownian movement are the uh, randomly randomly uh, random movements so due to the collision with the fluid molecules so thus such particles tend to deviate from the fluid flow pattern so if the fluid flow is having a specific flow pattern then when there is a collision then they deviate that the flow pattern so that may be may be become impacted upon the filter fibers. So when there is a collision with the uh, filter fibers, so then the diffusion is more significant in the filtration of the gases than in the filtration of the liquid. So the inertial impaction and the diffusion, both mechanisms are mostly applicable when we are dealing with the filtration of the gaseous material or a gaseous phase. So as concern, the third mechanism which is electrostatic attraction in this the charge particles may be attracted by the opposite charges on the surface of the filtration medium so because if uh, there is a charge the, the filter we are using having the different charge and the particle which we have to be filtered then that have an other charges so the electrostatic attractions are basically depend upon the charge particles. So as concerned the fourth mechanism which one is the interception. So the fiber comprising a filter are interwoven to a defined opening of the various sizes. So the particles which are larger than the filter pores are removed by direct interception. Mostly this interception is mostly uh, the mechanism that is involved in simple uh, filtration process. So the significant number of the particles which are smaller than the filter pores are also retained by the interception. So this may occur by the several mechanism. 
so more than one particles may arrive at the pore simultaneously an irregular shaped particles may bridge a pore once a particle has been trapped by the mechanism other than the interception the pores may be partially accumulated acc uh, accumulated uh, enabling the entrapment of the smaller molecules so the interception is equally important mechanism in the filtration of the gases as well as the liquids so these are the different four mechanism which are involved in uh, uh, the filtration process the first two is mostly applied for the gases but the electrostatic attraction and the interception can be uh, involved in both cases as well as uh, the gases as well as uh, uh, the so as concerned the filtration or the filters so the filters types is uh, classified into two types so the first one in which those the pores of the filter are smaller than the particles which are to be removed on other case is the vice versa when the pores are larger than the particles so these are the two different types of the filters which one can use for filter sterilization so in next step we will uh, we try to know that what actually is the process of filter sterilization in our later modules